welcome to my youtube channel i'm here with uh man colleague today he's our disabled creative and i'm sure you can tell that creativity is on another level welcome to my channel please do introduce yourself who's man colleague uh man and colleague yeah yeah uh yeah you know uh, hello guys um you know my name is melancholic you know i guess other people know me as kenny mavela that's my real name um yeah man i mean i what i'm blind wara wara you know i'm from pretoria Sushanguri. Mm -hmm. um yeah you know um he's selling him, himself very short he's a songwriter compiler producer just to mention but a few of his um attributes tell me when did the when did you realize that you had the talent at what age sure bro i think i think i was probably singing in my mom's voice, <laughs> really you know um i just think that for me yes I, I mean i started singing at the age of six Mm. Yeah, at the age of five, six. That's 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 when I started singing. Mm. Yeah, I think, but I, I don't know when I realized it. Yeah. You know, so when I'm what I'm thirty one now. Mm. So I guess I've been singing for what 25, 26 years now. Mm. Yeah. So is it is, is it something that runs in the family or? Definitely. You're the first. Nah, definitely, bro. It runs in the family. My mom, uh, definitely awesome singer. Um, mm. By what she tells me her grand my grandparents were also like pretty cool uh on the vocals i know my younger brother is also definitely dope my mm. sister was dope um so you know it's it's something that that does run in the family yeah okay and then um i know that you studied music what exactly um how are you studying music because I'm, I'm quite interested in that like what do you learn when you go to, to music school or you learn music? You know, bro, um, actually, this is just so, it's so funny and I hope it's not controversial in any way. Mm. <clears throat> you know, they, adversity, they don't teach you, they don't teach you how to make music. Mm. Um, so, which means they don't make you a better singer mm. or a better piano player or a guitarist or whatever, mm. or, like, or a best a better saxophonist or whatever mm. um when you go there you can already play mm. right mm. you can already play mm. um the only thing that they will do is obviously they will show you obviously different other techniques and maybe you you'll get to meet other musicians and you get better but that's from a practical point of view i mean i understand I, I, um from a you know on a theoretical point of view you know, there's a lot. I mean, there's sound engineering, there's radio production, mm. um, there's music history, there's music business, there's music theory, um, there's a bit of communications, mm. there's composing. So now, obviously, if you talk about composing, um, obviously, when you make a song, you compose a song. But now we're talking the formal aspect of it. Mm. You know, you literally sitting down and and writing the music mm. note for note you know the type of rhythmic patterns and sequences mm. and obviously they teach you different forms of music mm -hmm. you know which then later on can inform uh, you as to what kind of a songwriter you, you yeah. might become yeah. yeah yeah so when you sit down to write a song do you um what really happens you, you wake up and you're like okay fine now let me write this how does it come i think a song come along for me for me there are different processes so the thing is for me i'm a now i'm a i'm, I'm a blues singer right mm. so now i'm a storyteller before i'm a singer this mm. the singing is just a medium mm -hmm. it's just a medium so people can receive what i'm saying mm. right but in in, in actual fact I'm, I'm, I'm a storyteller mm. so for me i don't sit down and write songs Mm. Um, that happens very, very, very seldom for me to sit down and actually write a song. Most of the times, I just get high and I, and I smoke it and, and, and then, and then I'm, <laughs> the song comes. Then, yeah. then, then from there, you know, <laughs> what yeah. I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pro and then I will take you from there, bro. Mm. Yeah. And then when you're busy, when the song comes, does the beat also come or it, it follows after you've actually uh, had, the, had the song already in your mind or in your head? 
I think if I have a particular message or if I've got a particular um, thing on my heart, when that song comes, it comes complete. Mm. So I can just say, Milo, 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 won't you tell your sister what she's doing is wrong? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So and then and then from there you do you understand, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, the beat. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then that's that's the song. Yeah. And then from there, from what it, the storyline basically is Milo tell your fellow sister. Yeah. You know, to yeah. behave properly, to mm. love herself, respect herself. Mm. And then from there, whatever words come from there, um it just increases the, 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 the song. Yeah, and the um, message. So for me, you like just a very basic uh, um, a basic way I write songs. I tell the story first, mm. then the story writes the song, or the story mm. becomes the song. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So that's why I don't struggle with with songs. Mm. Um, I, you know, a lot of artists, you know, Buffalo and what, but I mean, for me, literally, there's no how not about There's so much to talk about. So, how many songs would you say you've written to date? Sheesh, bro, I've written a lot of songs. Mm. A lot, a lot. I've written a lot of songs and uh, and, I've, and I've forgotten a lot of songs that mm. I wrote. Yeah. So do you also write for other people or...? Uh, you know what? I've never been commissioned to write a song for somebody. Mm. Nobody has ever said to me, can you please write a song for me? Mm. But I can imagine it's not, it's not a, it's, it's, it would be nothing different to what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, if you say to me, write me, a, can you please write me a song? that talks about this and this and this and this, mm -hmm. then obviously, you know, I would write it. But then for me, that would mean I'd have to sit down yeah. and actually um, apply a bit of my education, just a bit. Mm. Yeah. What other instruments uh, can you play besides uh, the recorder? Yeah. Yeah, so the recorder, those so that you, you know, can see, this is the recorder. Yeah. Well, I'm showing it to the camera. This is just so weird. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you, you can feel it. Yeah, right? yeah, so, it's a recorder. Yeah, so I mean, I can I can play a bit of guitar, a on guitar, mm. and then you know a bit of keys, and um, uh, a bit of percussion. But really, on percussion, no, don't call me and say get low, get low, get low, percussion. Um, um, I won't because hey, I'm not that good. What is a percussion? Percussion, you can get the instrument to the bar, oh my, me, ropa, shake, one saragel, jodi, tamborini, tell us in Jalanke, kick him up like a milk and who would get against our own grandma's hands. You used to be on Sunday morning, I'm sorry. And then, okay, fine, you're in high school now. How did you decide or know that uh, when you go to university, you want to do music? It was a no brainer for me, bro. Mm. Um, it was a no brainer for me, you see, because uh, for me, I was always good at music. Mm. And uh, I've always been making a living at music. Mm. Uh, I like to say I've been a professional musician since the age of six. Mm. You see, because I've been singing on the streets since mm. I was six. So, mm. so I've, been, I've, been, I've been getting paid at mm -hmm. um, music. So, so it was a no-brainer for me. But for me, the one thing that, that made me to want to go to, to varsity and study music mm. was because I wanted to understand the different revenue streams mm -hmm. in the music industry. It's not that I couldn't sing. I, I could sing, mm. um, you see. Um, and, I, and I knew my talent at that time. But I, I needed to find, I needed to know different ways of making money in the music mm -hmm. industry mm -hmm. i needed to know that um mm -hmm. and i needed to i needed to put some sort of certification yeah on my talent you yeah. see because if i say i'm a vocal consultant mm -hmm. um because because i'm because i'm qualified um because i've got a music degree mm -hmm. no one is going to question the fact that i've got a um i can say i'm a music consultant yeah, you're qualified. I'm, I'm a vocal consultant mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying um so that's why i went to I went to I went and studied it. Yeah. So, it's paying the bills. Of course. Because many people tend to wonder, like, uh, most especially our parents, when you go and say, um, I want to go and study music, they're like, I know, go and do law or be a doctor or something. They don't really think that music can, you can actually live off uh, music. 
Yeah, Joe, you know what, man? Like, I don't, and I'm not gonna lie to you, you know, people out there, right? Mm. Music is a very tricky career. Mm. And if you, if you are not, even, even the best musician, even the best musician can find himself hungry. Mm. So here's the thing, a mm. a musician is a creature, is belongs to somebody. Mm. A musician belongs to somebody. That's why right now we've got we've got patrons. Mm. We've got somebody who looks after your lifestyle. Mm. And the reason why that is so is because even when you look throughout the ages, you always had a musician in a court. There was always a musician there there was always a musician ordering was appointed by some king mm. uh, i mean solo soul soul had david as a musician yeah, yeah. you see so yeah. as, as far back as that mm. you see so horror a musician is a creature that belongs mm. to somebody yeah. somebody looks after your lifestyle mm. and your role is to make them feel good mm. that's your role mm. to make music and mm. make them feel good you see so that's the tricky part mm. about industrial Mona today because if you don't have a patron, mm. you 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 have a problem because you cannot rely on the fact that I'll get gigs. Then what happens? Then Ramaphosa closes yeah, down the country, <laughs> and then, then what? Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Then, mm. then now you've got a problem now. Mm. You see, but on the other hand, there are other revenue streams that you can access mm. through studying music through obtaining some sort of a music qualification mm. you can go and teach right mm -hmm. you can go and teach mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, do production mm. um you can you, there's a lot you see there's a there's a lot of things um that you can do through music mm -hmm. you can compose music for for movies or film music mm. uh you know you can there's a lot there's really a lot uh jingles mm. that people hear on radio mm. can compose for that these things say you know someone is getting paid for that bro mm. um you understand what i'm saying mm. um this sound food now somebody somebody is getting paid for that yes mm. you see so that's music also you see so there are many 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 revenue streams but you have to be careful you have to be very very careful because mm. the thing is our industry is i mean dude even the taxi industry is licensed mm. so our industry is, the, is probably one of the only unlicensed industries mm. in the sense that anybody today mm. can pick up a guitar and sit for maybe a year or two and become a good guitarist mm -hmm. right um but then that person i they don't know anything about billing mm. They don't know how to bill for a gig. Uh, no, or you come and play guitar for me, and they're happy. Mm. It's not some, the, the only reason why that is so, the only reason why that is so is because that person, because our industry is not regulated. Mm. It's not licensed. You don't need a license to practice music. Mm. And that is something that has to change yeah. in our country. Yeah. Because once, we get a, once you get a, a license to, to practice music, practice music mm. okay not make music not perform music mm. practice music mm. do you understand mm. the moment we get a license for that then there's a standard industry fee yeah that you get for playing in front of people mm. then everybody knows in the world or in the country what do you don't perform for less than there's two thousand mm. this is the minimum amount mm. So don't you think that would cut maybe a lot of people who can't um, really meet the standard? It has to. Mm. Because remember, an industry is for the best of the best. Mm. Yeah. And in the industry, as in it's like, mm. you understand? That's why even now, we a simple example, even now, but how buy a license to go They can't drive taxis. You know why? Because mm. they can't access that market. Mm. Okay? That is why not everybody can be a lawyer. Mm, okay. Mm. There are many people who study law, but they don't end up as lawyers. Exactly. They don't obtain the license to yes. Mm. They don't obtain the license to practice law, mm. or they don't obtain that certificate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Health, health professional yeah. counsel. Yeah. Right. Because the, an industry is for the best of the best. Mm. And when you don't have that license, for example, in my case, I, I I'm not even allowed to actually uh, counsel people. 
yes. because I'm not a qualified a psychologist, even though I study psychology. Yes. So I think I get where you're you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So regulate the industry. Mm. Make the industry viable. Make the industry viable and financially viable for the artist and and, and, and also for the companies. Because you know what? Let me tell you something. A lot of companies they take an artist over like maybe two albums, say, mm. and then a bamo dampa. Aske, bamo dampa. Aske, belo kara umuwe, and then he was never kara umuwe. Le na gitu yes, bamo dampa. Okay, but now here's the thing: the re the, the the problem with that is that companies fall off as as much as what dampa the artist. Ne, lebo na they lose their clout. Mm. That is why still today, bro, we are still listening to music all over no release like bo sony bmg mm, bo mm, emi mm, bo ghetto records mm, uh def jam mm, you understand the only reason why we're still listening to music from those companies is because they they were able how i mean how long did mariah carey uh, stay in def jam mm, mariah carey stayed in def jam for ages mm, you understand what i'm saying mm, for ages universal studios uh, those are companies that could hold an artist for 10 years, 15 years, 20 mm. years. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and that shows you, because of that, that means that company owes that, it owns that brand, yeah. first of all. Yeah. And it's looking after that brand. Mm. Because that brand is an investment. Mm. So now, ambitious is very empty. Yam mm. Yeah, that's job. Okay? Mm. Where is ambitious today? Mm. Do we even care about ambitious? We don't. We don't mm. care about ambitious. Where's TS Records today? Mm. Yeah? Where's How many superstars came from TS Records? Many. Right? <laughs> TS think... Records was supposed to be a multi billion dollar company as we speak today, mm. Mm. but it's not. I thought you said you were not going to be controversial. No, no, no. I'm just putting it out there. I'm going to be positioning. <laughs> 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 Kenny, uh, talking about the guitar. Mm. Can you please play us the guitar? Because I heard you mention that. Uh, uh, yeah, Pufule. Yeah, Pufule is a room glory. Pufule is a king in Italy, in the Mugarulena Marajo. Just play anything, man. Play and sing. Something that you can sing along to. Oh, oof. let's see. Let's maybe take uh, or again, uh, maybe uh, a local song. Or, yeah. Or, or, yeah, a or, local song. Mona Daniel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, now I'm back. But I give. 
Joe, you know what? It, I mean, excuse the pun, but it, it all depends on how you look at it. Mm. Well, uh, it all depends on how you look at it. I've been to many, many, many auditions. Any, any singing competition you can think of in the country, I've probably been to that. Mm. Idols, The Voice, Wara Wara, all those things. Okay? Um, but now, here's the thing. The thing is, people, companies look at you when they think, but you're blind. We are going to be spending so much mm. resources mm. just to make you appeal mm. to your market. And mm. we are not willing to do that. Mm. You see? But that's what I'm saying. It depends on how you look at it. Because for me, remember, now, now I'm, very, I'm very honest with myself. Mm. I'm very frank mm. with myself. So then I say, well, Kenny, I mean, from a business point of view, it does make sense. Mm. People don't want to have to spend so much money mm. to bring you up to a certain standard. Mm. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a company that will say, we like what you do. Mm. What you do is unique and you are the only one who does it the way you do it. Mm -hmm. We are going to put in the resources mm. and we are going to make you work and then return those resources mm. and return our reward our investment mm -hmm. you see so that's the only thing but the, there are no particular challenges as a blind person it's either you it's either you can make it's either you can do it or you can't mm. uh, and hard work is hard work mm. okay hard mm. work is hard work mm. okay yeah, uh, do you understand rockstar get rockstar once mm. again if we're not if we're not you are good at what you're doing you are good at what you're doing it doesn't it doesn't count or you are blind mm. i don't have to work i don't have to practice more hours or yeah. because i'm blind yeah. no so music has, is a level playing field but in in other industries you know when we look at obviously corporate and we look at we look at psychology and we look at the the, the financial and the economic and what and what not and what not mm. Yes, maybe being blind does sort of impede you a bit. But mm. come music boss, it's mm. all about your input and your output. Mm. Uh, they, they, more more You'll find other people, other blind artists will tell you, yeah, they don't want to sign us because mm. we are blind. No, dude, but look at yourself. Mm. When? <laughs> look at, are you good? Some of them what's hell or we will tell chance. What's the chance to tell chance? It's got nothing to do with your eyes. Mm. Yeah, what would you do? <laughs> so yeah. we must be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I, I had a conversation with this other friend of mine who is no longer my friend. And he he had the same issue. Mm. No, Joe, what discriminate? I want to discriminate you. Mm. Go, go and practice. Go sit mm. down with your craft. Mm. And make your craft mean something to you. Mm. Once your craft means something to you, if your, mm. once your craft is valuable to you, mm. when, and you understand what you're doing, then from there, people will start to enjoy mm. what you are doing. Make music for yourself. Love music that you are making. Mm. The music must mean, it must move you. Mm. Before anyone else. Yeah, it's not going to move anybody else. If it doesn't move you, it's not going to move anybody else. Mm. So then, kick it on a little bit. We're not about to complain like a bufu bufu. That's rubbish. Mm. That's, I don't know if I'm allowed to use the word BS. <laughs> In full on your, yeah. on, on your channel, can I? <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, it's bullshit. You see, that's bullshit, bro. If you check, most of the time, disabilities got nothing to do yeah. with your success. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Just work, work harder. Mm. I don't want you wanna go where you wanna go. Mm. Make sure go further. Mm. Go further. That's all, bro. Don't let people come here and make excuses. And we know the challenges. We are disabled. Mm. We know. We know, bro. Mm. We know. And we we. We are the most. We are one. Of, we are. We are amongst the most independent disabled people out there. Oh, grandma, to fail on the fail. Oh, pala lo uki sa shopong kumaguling. Oh, pala lo uki sa kai kai kai. Oh, to go join challenges, challenges. Bra, mm. get up on your ways mm. and do your thing. Yes. That's your life. You do it. Yeah. You say la. How no? Next. So how no? How no? Bare challenge. Ma bra. Osa practice. Mut mutu muwa bona. A sighted person who practices maybe six hours. Eh, when eh. I will only maybe practice at two hours. Eh. And do you really expect to be as good as that no, guy? No, 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 no. Does it that, that so then does it that, that it, does it still ah, work? Yeah, yeah, nah, and then you start. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Does it still work or uh, you are blind? Can mm. you still use it? 
Mm-hmm. You can be blind. You can use blindness as a crutch. Mm. You are not crippled. Mm. Why are you using you using it as a crutch? Ish. But a lot of people do that, and we don't call each other out. Yeah. And we need yeah. to call each other out, mm. right? Yeah, especially yeah. as blind people. Yeah. Mm. Not that, that Joe. That's why there are many people who don't really, you know, uh, associate that much with because now now I tell you straight that blah. Now now it's in zoo. Now only it's most thing. Most of the thing there's no blind, there's no one around. Mm. 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 We want to win. Mm. That's it. For our own, it's not going to count. If we're not to get a little bit of the deal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kenny, yeah. thank you so much for, yeah. for coming through. I really, really, really appreciate yeah, it. Bro. And uh, I know you guys enjoyed you enjoyed Kenny and his love and <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for bringing me on, man. It's yeah. a pleasure. It's really an honor. Eh? All right. Yeah. Now, so, um, guys, uh, I'll see you on my next upload. Uh, until then, stay blessed. Oh, yeah.